These are all the light shades. Compare them to the number of brown shades. If I look like I'm gonna pay 2,000 rand, 2.5 to get braids. <laughs> I'll be bringing you a video on being black in Sweden. So, what's it like being black in Sweden? Well, let's go to Harvard. Oh, I don't know, you guys. We'll be as out of place there as a black guy in Sweden. Ooh. Black and sipping. Yeah, black and sipping. So, the first thing that we need to get out of the way is the fact that you're going to be the only black person in a room because let's face it, there aren't that many black people in Sweden. Unlike South Africa and America, Sweden doesn't have any stats of their population according to race. So I have no idea how many black people there in Sweden, but I can say that I've been here for two months and I've seen less than a hundred. And that's like me going into town and like walking the city. When I do see a black person, I get really happy and really excited. I'm like, oh god! Yeah, well, but um, most of the time it's not really reciprocated. Since I've been in Sweden, I've spoken to one. And also, the black people that are here are usually from like Somalia, Ethiopia, and stuff. And you know that because of the texture of the hair. It's like plenty of scale. Another thing about being black in Sweden is that. Although you don't get to see a lot of black faces, like the people, you get to see a lot of black faces in media. So there's a lot of representation in the media of black people. Which is so weird because in South Africa, which is like 99% black, you don't get to see as many black faces when it comes to like beauty and stuff. But app that you need for I think transportation in Stockholm, the like background wallpaper of the app is of a black guy. So Shout out to Sweden! They have black dolls. They have like a lot of black dolls in that day. Okay, like at least half of the dolls there are black, which is amazing because I've never had a black doll. Growing up, I had a white doll named Sonke. <laughs> Shout out Sonke. You won't find your shade of, of makeup. These are all the light shades. Compare them to the number of brown shades. All the shades of pale. It's like. They just, they were just like pale, 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 and then if you want makeup, you have to go to MAC and all those other places, which are, which are not in my budget, okay? They're just not in my budget. You won't find any black people hair products, like, guys, it's such a struggle. When it comes to having my hair done, I haven't had my hair done since I've arrived in Europe because who's going to do my hair? Do I look like I'm going to pay a thousand rand, 1.5, 2,000 rand, 2.5 to get braids? To get braids. What braids are these? What are they gonna do to my hair? They're gonna change my life. Can I get them in my hair for two years? Because if not, I'm not gonna pay that money. People are like, no, just look for like black communities. So I'm gonna roam the streets of Stockholm looking for a black community. What does a black community even look like? Where do I even start? When I'm asking for directions, what do I say? Please, can I go to the black community? And when I get there, what do I say? Like, hey, um, First of all, I'm South African and all Africans and she hate South Africans because they're the worst. We're the white people of Africa, so... <laughs> now let's do a pro of being black in Sweden. It's that you're not easily susceptible to lies. I found like 10 lies in someone's hair and I was like, mm -mm, can't be me. So this is why I'm always wearing a duck. It's not just a fashion or political statement, it's to avoid lies. People keep asking me, How are we finding the weather? Like, how is it? Like, for you, for you. It's not nice, like obviously it's not nice. Like stop asking me, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it. In fact, when you're asking me, you keep me out here longer. Like I don't want to be outside because it's too cold. Like I don't want to have this conversation. You don't understand why people are excited about it being 10 degrees or like 18 degrees because yeah, people are wearing shorts at 18 degrees. Like they're like, ooh, ah, it's 18 degrees. And I'm like, there hasn't been a day where I haven't worn two layers of pants and um, at least three layers of like top stuff so I just don't understand the hype about 18 degrees like I don't I don't get it how is the sun going to come up after 8 a.m. and then set at 3 
How rude. And then on top of that, it's not even heat. Like there's not a single bit of heat that you get from the sun. It's just light. Like for me, the sun is something that gives light and heat. And so you feel it on your skin. Like when you go outside, you're <laughs> Another thing about being black in Sweden is that you're always late. I don't know if that's a black thing or it's a me thing, but it's a South African thing. But I just know I'm always late for everything. But I realized here, even with the transports, if you're not there in time, you're, you're gone. Like, I mean, the transport is gone. You're not going anywhere because you're late. I don't know if this is a black thing, but it probably is because the people are always like, you don't sound South African. And I'm like, what does South African sound like? Like maybe thought it would be more, you know. And I'm like, no. Tell me, what what did you expect? Like a more like culturally just African. And I'm like, you thought I'd sound more black, right? Where in Africa are you from? And I mean, Swedish people are not ignorant, so they know that Africa is not one country. But I'm like, oh, I'm from South Africa. They're like, ooh, that means Botswana. Like, so have I! <laughs> no relevance, like, if I was Twana, maybe, but this is. yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!